Good morning, Days with Jordan the Lion vlog. I made the bed, I came out of the bathroom, and this is what... What had happened. Just tucked himself into bed. It's not even 10 o'clock a.m. and he's back in bed already. Look at that face. Well, I gotta go work today most of the day, so I don't know what we're gonna record, what we're gonna give you guys for a vlog, but we'll find something. Well, that's the Tommy Burger. There's a few of them around Los Angeles. I don't know how many exactly, but uh, it's kind of uh, an old school chain here that everybody knows about. They specialize in the uh, chili cheeseburger. A lot of pl there's not a lot of places that do that, but there's this one and Carney's, which Jay Leno owns. It looks like a train car, but I actually prefer this one. This is a cool mural to uh, Tony Curtis in my neighborhood. This is KTLA Studios, well, part of KTLA Studios, which is like the local Los Angeles news. But what also is here on the corner is Sunset Bronson Studios. Now, Sunset Bronson is where they film a lot of uh, TV talk show and court shows and game shows. In my experience, that's what they do mostly here. But one of the famous things that does film there and has for a long, long time is Let's Make a Deal. That's been there for, God, forever. I forget what, how many years, like 25 years or something. Yep. They do, I think, two big sessions a year. And generally how those game shows and things like that film is that they do maybe like four weeks and they'll film two shows a day for like maybe four days a week. And they'll do four weeks of that and that's how they'll do their entire season. So for about two months, about twice a year you'll see just tons of people lined up in costumes out there I've actually done the show I've never got put on the show but I've been there and dressed up and and tried look at that we even have an Arby's out here you guys can believe that Midwestern side of me loves Arby's thanks to my grandpa now this place is pretty cool um, this used to for years and years and years this was the uh, the site of the old spaghetti factory. But what it was before that, and I don't think it's anything right now, what it was before that was it was Gene Autry Studios. And Gene Autry used to film all the interiors of his cowboy flicks in here. Here, let's go up and look in the window. Pretty barren, but you can, you can at least see what Gene Autry Studio looks like on the inside. I don't see any anymore, but they used to have actually like a plaque on the outside of the wall that commemorated that this was Gene Autry Studios. Oh, here's another window. Let's look in there. Here on the corner is what was formerly Oceanway Studios. Many, many, many of the most famous records of all time have been recorded there. Um, a lot of Radiohead records, some of my favorite Weezer records. Pretty much anything you look up Oceanway, it was done there. Right across the street there is Sunset Gower Studios, which is, they film a lot of TV shows there. A lot. I've worked on a few there. But the reason that I like Sunset Gower so much is that Saved by the Bell was recorded there. And uh, that was one of those shows when I was a kid that really made me want to become an actor, as goofy as that sounds. I loved everything about that show and the life and right next to it in this kind of gray building is uh, United Recordings. You can look up and see what all was recorded there. And then right here is Siren Studios. They film uh, TV shows and things there. They did uh, some of Ryan Seacrest TV shows there. And here's the corner part of Sunset Gower Studios, more of like the office section of Sunset Gower. Now this building here uh, is it's been completely remodeled, completely redone. Um, it doesn't even look the same. But what this was, was if you saw the documentary about Banksy, or the Banksy directed documentary called Exit Through the Gift Shop, the man who filmed a lot of his stuff and became the artist himself uh, had his 
had his big gallery deal at this place, or what used to be here. So if you watch Exit Through the Gift Shop, this is exactly where it was. And this is the Hollywood Palladium. Everybody from like Frank Sinatra to Nirvana and just about everybody you can think of. In fact, they have a listing on here of a lot of the people that have performed here, as you can see. But one of the most famous things that was filmed here was Richard Pryor live at the Sunset Strip. I've seen a few shows here. It's really cool. It's very old school inside, very like grand ballroom-esque. Here's an, I mean, it still pretty much looks like that picture right there. Um, and I've stood in a mob of people about just like that. Legendary Hollywood Palladium. And this has not changed. They have not really changed anything about this place. They've done minor things upkeep-wise, but never changed the facade. Here is uh, just Nickelodeon Studios. They film a few of the shows that are out now. Usually whatever's up on the wall. Used to be Bella and the Bulldogs. You, you could walk by and you'd see the set inside the gates right there. They had the football field set up. Maybe it still is, but I think they're off season. I think I saw them tearing it down. Yeah, it looks like it's torn down right now. Usually back there where that gray wall is, straight through the fence is where the set is for whatever they're doing outdoor shots of. I'm telling you, you guys think I'm joking when I say everything is construction in this town right now, but it's everywhere. Look at that. You seriously, you can't walk a block without seeing a crane somewhere. Literally across the street from that, one block to the uh, east, which is to the right, because we're walking north, there's another one. And I'll put it on here just to prove it. We have plenty of open apartments in this city. I don't know why they're tearing everything of historical value down and doing this. Hippies, 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 hippies everywhere. Another angle, here's another angle of the Palladium. We're gonna cross up here anyway. Did I not tell you? There's the cranes. This is a block over. And here's the side. I'll, I'll, I'll walk by and get a better view of that. The side of the Palladium. The section of the Palladium that we had already walked past used to be the entrance but now it's actually um they don't really use it they use it for when they're filming other stuff here but not for concerts i'll walk past the side which is now where you actually enter to go into a concert with the palladium so this is a uh, side view of the palladium this is actually where you enter now it used to be the parking but as you can tell this parking lot's just not big enough for the amount of people that would go here. I don't even remember what the capacity is to this place, but I would have to guess, you know, a few thousand. So now you enter in the little corner over here. See, there's a few little like ticket booths over there. Never have a shortage of tour buses. Never, ever, ever have a shortage of those. I hope you guys enjoyed that stuff. I didn't really go out of my way or anything to uh, to do this today because I was working. That actually, I had to go print something at the Kinko's and the Kinko's is about a 12 or 13 minute walk away. And that was all just stuff on my way that I just happened to know about. So any one of those locations, I mean, look them up. You'll find out the vast, vast history about all of them. And now off to work.